Breaking news. Biafra Group launches revenge attack. <laughs> Biafra Group does not take no for an answer or just accept or allow themselves to be intimidated. This is a group that is made up of men and women, mostly of the southern star part of Nigeria. The cry for Biafra Republic has been a long one after the Nigerian Civil War, where Nigerian government, you know, just behaved as if nothing happened. Other countries, memorials, and this is taught in history, and the people are feel included, especially after the wreckage of war. People have to pick up their life. But guess what Nigerian government did to the Biafra, to the, east, to the eastern part of the nation? They rather allowed them to go through untold suffering, hardship. My parents used to tell us of how, you know, in, in the eastern part of the country, whatever you had in the bank, you know, the, the money was just taken away and um, no matter the amount. But guess what? Despite all, they are still thriving. A people of economic hub moving forward, a people who are forward thinking, uh, you know, uh, uh, commerce, you know, builds up economy, build up nations, wherever they go to, very zealous, very, you know, people who are, who are working hard. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe if this is your first time. Let's get all the details. Biafra Group launches revenge attack. Biafra Nation Legal N -N -N -B -N -L said it has ordered its members to launch a reciprocal attack on Fulani headsmen following the recent killing at, at least of at least not less than 15 people in a Boeing state. The killing took place on Monday night in Nekede, Oban, and Amazo in Umahe communities. At least 15 persons were reportedly killed during the attack, allegedly carried out by some suspected Fulani headsmen. Addressing reports in Ikom, Cross River State, National Deputy Leader of BNL, the head of Operation BBS Media, Ebuka Akon, said enough is enough. According to them, we have ordered members and supporters of BNL in other parts of the old eastern region to mobilize and launch counter-attack on them in less than five days. Any attack from them will surely be avenged until they stop by their parents' body. The Mighty Allah Hub and Mighty Allah Cattle Breeders Association have done too much and the governors sadly are supporting them. BNL queried why Nigerian soldiers are after pro Biafra group but have not done anything to the attackers on the villagers. If this has happened, that IPOBs or ESN has carried out this attack on Fulanis, you will see what Nigerian army and soldiers would have done. They would have been all over the state looking for every young man, whether a Biafra member or not. They would have been all over the state combing house to house, bringing out every May and even young ladies dealing with them taking them to abuja and even some of our brothers and sisters are still in abuja from what happened in Imo state where the governor of the state unleashed nigerian army and soldiers on members of esn this has happened and no investigation is going on or an attempt being made to arrest the perpetrators also a governor of the federal republic of nigeria governor of Benue state was attacked up until today no leads following up or brought to book anyone who carried out that attack. Nigerian government is clearly shown that they do not care about anyone else other than the Fulanis and their people. So this is honestly true. You see, this is honestly true. Nigerian government, honestly, even the U.S. report says Nigerian government favors a particular ethnic group. And sadly to say, it's not like they're just carrying out uh, small uh, evil activities like stealing. Even st We're not saying to commit st to steal is, a, is, 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 uh, is pardonable. Please don't involve yourself in crime. Crime is wrong and you should never do it. Anyone who goes ahead and begins to commit crime is, you know, will be dealt with if you are apprehended. Please, if you are involved in that, leave that line. It is not a good life. That being said, disclaimer, we want to say that if anyone, you know, is commit is found, commit, it's not say they are committing crime like theft or they are going about defrauding people or doing one of this, you know, crime that does not involve the taking of life. 
they take life at will, destroy lives and property. And guess what? Nigerian government is silent about it. They do nothing about it up until today. The Nigerian soldiers have not gone to a boring state eh, since Monday to fish out the Fulani headsmen who did this thing. Even the governor of the state, because the governors of the east are very good at sending Nigerian army on, you know, on ESN. They are very good at, you know, bringing ESN, you know, they, they want to they want to destroy ESM at all costs. You know, it's, it's really a big shame that even the governor of River State, Newsom Wiki, started a security outfit. And the words he said, I, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe what I was hearing. He said, well, that these people are going to be dealing with uh, the, the, the ESN and the rest. I was like, seriously? Is there no cause for, is there? Is that a real reason why this group is being formed? It's not, is it not because you want to eliminate every kind of evil in the society and ensure that lives and property are safe? This ESN you are talking about, I've not kidnapped anybody, I've not gone to rape anybody, I'm not asking for ransom. All they are basically doing is protecting their interests, you know. I'm not saying that they have crossed all the I's and dot all the T's. However, I don't think they are the ones we should be going after as a government. That being said, Nigerian government is clearly shown that they don't care about anybody and who and really they care about and they want no matter what happened, they want you to continue to support them is the is the full and headsmen. So so much so that the government of Nigeria will tell you you have to live at peace with them. You have to. You you won't begin to wonder. This set of people are committing atrocities. They've done a lot of evil. So how should I manage? How should I live with them? Nigerian government is telling you, you have to. You have no choice. And one is like, seriously, what is happening here? So this is why we are calling on Nigerians. Please be wise. Open your eyes. Do not allow yourself to be intimidated. There is an agenda going on. As we pray, we also walk and we also ensure that nobody takes away our rights. Nobody comes and begins to infiltrate into that which consigns us. You know, we rise up as a people and we say no to every perpetration of evil and those who continue, you know, to do evil in the land. Because as it stands today, we must speak out. When you are silenced, it's as though you are part and parcel of what is going on it's all right you can't be bothered it's okay you know and we must say no we do not accept it it's not acceptable guys it's happening leave us a comment please don't forget to give us a thumbs up subscribe if this is your first time we sincerely appreciate you thank you so much have a lovely and a fantastic day bye for now